what I do. Not again. country like California. Well, this country coming to anyway. But they said the cleanup will take many years. After these messages. Are you ugly and smelly? Well, if we got a product that'll help you, today your life will change because... And now with your sports report, here's Chuck Reynolds. Chuck? Well, thank you, Dick. We've got this big-time thing happening. Yeah, sure you do. Let's see what the newspaper's got in it. Hey, Pumunda, Common Sense is on sale this week. What the heck? Whoa. Getting a little weird up in here. Yeah, you just probably took too many of those. Hey, have you noticed the colorful ads yet? What the heck did I do now? Oh, snap. I did something. Uh, 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 uh. Things are getting a little weird up in here. Uh, newspaper? You still look like that? Yeah, hey, look, I'm glad you turned off the TV, because newspapers are much more effective anyway. Well, what? Uh, yeah, trust me. Polls suggest you should jump through the wall right now and totally freak out. But I can't. Yeah, you can. Didn't you hear? The TV and radio stations all blew up. I am information now. No! Yeah! No! <laughs> well, you really know how to freak out, don't you? Yeah, you're really helping the bottom line. This is going to make a great story. I love it when I get to manufacture the news. Yeah, you wouldn't know the difference anyways, though, would you? <gasps> you should jump to another wall. Oh, snap. Things are getting weirder. Yeah, there's a wall right there. Do it. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Why? Now you let media think for you. Huh? Yeah, because you're dumb. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. See you like this. Hey, I'll bite your ass. Whatever. I didn't sign up for this. Hey, there's a sale for new clothes. Pay 7B. Where in the hell am I? What the heck is going on? Oh, ask Ann Landers. Shut up, newspaper. I'll make yellow journalism out of you. Yeah, you just wouldn't do that. Yeah. yeah. You probably would, wouldn't you? Start to get hungry. I got coupons. Whatever. Oh, don't tell me that's the only way across this ravine. Are you not thinking about doing uh -huh. it? Don't yeah. study suggest this is a bad idea. <laughs> now you dumbass. 
What? Oh, not dead? Dang. Oh, geez. You really should listen to me, you know. Ooh, we made it across. Yeah, I think I know where we oh. are, too. Oh. We featured this place in our travel section once. It's real impressive vistas. What the heck? Yeah, but you gotta watch out for the locals. So never mind all that scenery. What the heck? Hey, let's go do something good. There's Vrago. Well, maybe I can use that for clothing. Whoa, oh, he's getting a little kooky up in here again. What? Hey, where'd that tree come from? What the? It's the king. It's right home. <laughs> yeah. Well. See you later, newspaper. Hey, if I ever need any useless information, I'll know where to look. Right? Go find something to eat. Hey, you'll be back. The radio around here sucks. Gotta be a good aid. This one ought to do her. Ow! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey, baby. I was so high up on that flagpole horse, and he didn't say nothing. Hey, look at that. Yeah, turkey house. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you and me gonna eat good tonight, Elvis. Yeah, right, it's gonna right. start a fire. How'd it get so cloudy out all of a sudden? Man, I don't know where I am or what I'm doing. Ah! I uh, guess I sleep under the stars tonight. You know what a guy's got to do to figure out where he is and what's going on. I'll be there to meet you. How nice and corny this is all starting to sound. But what else? Oh. Oh, well. All right, then. Get the safety pin off my bed. It's a lot smaller than it looks. Oh. Huh. I think you're still frying, Hollis. Are you still? Yeah, and so are you, baby. Oh, you're right. I mean, it's very small accommodations and nothing but a shrine to the television set. We'll see what's on. And remember, it's the only pair of pliers good enough to post a lifetime warranty. Sure they are. Order yours today. Nope. Tonight on Where They Are Now. This episode of When They Were Hit. Try again. Today on Why Are You Here? The life and times of U.S. folk hero War Vet. A tale of promise, challenge, and boundless faith in the midst of unending adversity. You may think of War Vet as just a guy who lives in his old truck camper. Or from his hit songs such as Fuck You and Your Way of Doing Things. But there's much more behind the man in the mask. His roots start out in the land of pine trees, football, cold winters, beer, and cheese. Now we're not talking about Texas. In Wisconsin, where he learned wholesome values far away from Main Street, USA. Where good people spend time in their yards discussing life. Warbet's parents were proud, but of such humble means, that our future revolutionary was raised in the woods, mainly by wolves. But he learned very valuable lessons from these unforgiving circumstances. There were many adventures and dog day afternoons, which made him feel very, very blessed. But the wolves were always at his heels. Oh, that's right, they were. Now I remember. Oh, the story's finally starting to get interesting. The years lunged into the past. And the world is about to sick Warbet on itself. 
on his own at a young age, Corbett immersed himself in the wonders of the big wide world around him. Wow, look at the big wide world around me. He was teeming with energy. Though he was better at some pursuits than at others, he worked hard at honing his game. Young old Orvet had some rough edges, but he thought for himself, and thinking for himself didn't help his schooling very much. So now, young Orvet, do you understand why I held you after class today? Geez, I don't know, Willie Nelson. Maybe it's because I showed some independent thought today? <laughs> Yes, that's right, mister. Creative thinking and independent thought will get you nowhere in this world. I'm trying to teach you to sit indoors for eight hours a day following instructions. It's the only way you'll ever get a job. Hey, hey, where are you going? Hey, you can't just leave. But he did leave, and he traveled. And I'm not just talking about how he sucks at basketball. Throughout his travels and travails, he was always examining his station in life and looking ahead toward the future, his war vet despised mediocrity. To him, so-so meant failure, and failing did not sit well with this hombre. He looked high and low for meaning to his existence, and sometimes balanced on the edge of self-destruction. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! Woo-hoo! Hey, oh, hey, your car's on fire, dude! Your car's on fire! It's on fire! We got him for that quiz! We got him for that quiz! But he always pulled himself back together. Not dead. And pressed onward. Dang. Oh, why didn't somebody tell me that would be a bad idea? 